where I'm from, <laughs> Duke hey, well you means duck, as in duck your head. And three means anybody and everybody. So everybody duck. That's what I got from it. But like I said, that's where I'm from. That really means where I'm from. Kenny 8869, bro. Appreciate you for the um, so, one. Everybody duck. Why would everybody be duck? Man, I'm really more. I'm really more than five and zero. Oh, I'm just five and zero oh on bodies. Man, that's what they just tried to convict you with. That's that's just what they know about. You feel me? That's okay. just what they. That's just what they heard. Okay. Hey, officer with the what red dress. You want me to tell you where the body's at? Man, allegedly, you know that's in a song. <laughs> no, that's that's how you start the song off. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Mr. Lawyer, bro, I need you to fight this bitch tooth and nail, bro. Hey, look, 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 look. We about to go crazy, I promise you. Yeah. I promise you. <laughs> well, yo, I'm a good talker, man. You just got to believe in me. And look, anytime they call you up on the stand and they ask you a question, you have either two options, all right? You can either answer it if you want to, or you could say, I choose to plead the fifth. Or, you know, something like that. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to, if you want to stand, you don't have to answer nothing if you don't want to. If you feel it's incriminating, shut that shit down. Say less. <clears throat> and if you want, my bad, if you want me to answer it for you, say that I revert all questions to my lawyer. That's a bad. <clears throat> Sir, are you okay? Um, yeah, I but hurt, hurt my back a little bit. Good though. Miss Ripley, where do we submit evidence? <clears throat> because I would like to do a counter sue on PD. Listen, a counter suit. This is not the time for that. I, I guess oh. you, you have your you have your bar license, right? Ma'am, you do realize that I am allowed to. to since that we are in here for no um, offensive reason, we are Man, allowed to have an to offensive say, I thought purpose. Was legal. So, huh? as a matter of fact, we we do want to hold an offensive here and counter sue PD for harassment. All right, we want to sue them for um, uh, well, holy shit. Let me let me write a list and get back to you right quick. August, this all sounds like a bunch of bullshit. I'm not gonna lie to you. It definitely Yo, is not. So you can, go ahead, you can go ahead and keep that in your notes that we counter sue on PD. All right, because we don't have an offensive, but now we do. So go ahead and say that we counter sue on PD. August, listen to me carefully. All I'm right, listening. listen, listen very carefully. Go ahead. We're here for a murder charge, right? Right. If you'd well, like that's to counter sue PD, listen tell to me carefully. Real, tell, them a, tell them the real reason why we're here. We're here because the cops is reaching. Right, so so the Sir, murder charges are defensive. Y'all are reaching. I think I'm nothing on me. Okay, okay. So so as you, as, you, as you quickly explained, the murder charges are defensive, correct? What I'm trying to say to you is that whatever your uh, defense is for your client is separate from another suit against PD. You would need to take that up with the DOJ, August. Oh, no, this has, right one, this has everything to do with the PD, ma'am. As a matter of fact, you're the ones that's suing my client, correct? Right, so now I'm counter-suing you, right? Because you're allowed to do that. That's my offense. Do you understand how a counter suit works? Yes, I do. I don't think you do. Yes, I do, ma'am. So, if you would like to bring up another court case against PD after the conclusion of this ah. trial, you can do that. My bad. However, Say that one more time. comma, it's not something that you would do right now. Do you understand? Okay, we're gonna beat them first. Okay, okay, but, then, okay. You know, we, yeah, we're we gonna do it first. Then, fuck it. I'm not gonna keep back and forth. I hey, appreciate fellas. you, August. Can I get you three on God duty, not jury duty? Since this will be handled by a judge and only a judge. Kenny Adams will be perfect. Oh, Kenny Adams is the judge? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, Kenny mm. Adams, my guy. We go back. Is he your guy? Me and Kenny Adams go way back. Where'd you guys meet? Get up. We met back in college. Um, I, he used to come to my dorm, drink scotch, and we used to play squash out back on the courtyard and water polo. And that was before I got in the um, before I got on the kayak team. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do remember him telling a story about this guy named Lil T that he used to um, <laughs> beat up on the playground. Was that you? Nah, nah, definitely nah, nah, nah. not. Definitely not. Y'all used person. to do what in college, Mister T? Um. 
No, I said we was back at Harvard. And um, we used to, Harvard Law. you know. Uh huh. Okay. Do canoe racing. Yeah, I, that's just like that's just strange. Like, I'm having like this flashback of this memory that he was telling me uh, when he was a kid, where, you know, he he sucker punched some kid in the face, and the kid cried and pissed his pants, and I I believe his name was T. Different T. Different. Must be a different guy. Yeah, yeah, it had to be a different one. Okay. Oh, anybody, just, anybody that ever punched me in the face, I ain't here to tell you the story about it. Hey, I feel you. I feel you. Can I talk to you, hey? Absolutely. It's a lot of, it's a lot of talking going on for a court case that hasn't started. That's true. Oh, Mr. Grizzly, do you mind if I speak to you upstairs right quick, sir? Come on. And they took three billion from the gang. Yeah, we real rich. Police wanna put me off in chains cause I kill shit. Ooh. <clears throat> so, <laughs> sir, what I'm about to tell you is highly confidential, all right, sir? All right, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you going you going I, I don't know if you'll go. You'll be happy to hear this, man. So you remember what I was telling you from earlier, right? Yeah. So, um, actually, come on, let's get a little move on quick so we can go talk. Officer should really be sitting down. Oh fuck. So, so, so. Come over here. So, here. Mm -hmm. All right, bet. So, so apparently, <clears throat> one of the people on my team just got back to me and told me that someone snitched you out. Oh yeah. So I, I like, I don't know if you did your sweep yet, but you know what I'm saying. Should have got that done ASAP. But look, we still gonna be able to fight this. We still gonna be able to beat it. You know what I'm saying? But just make sure when this is all said and done, you do that sweep ASAP. Say less. All right, all right, come on. Pull up on a block, me and Duke, we hit that kill switch. <clears throat> uh, Mr. August. Yes, ma'am. Uh, obviously, we have a lawyer representing us, right? Uh, he should be here shortly. Oh, that's perfect. But fine. I do want to make all the evidence available to you. T oh, perfect. Um, I, I do really, have some somebody, evidence. Somebody myself. put your name in a song. Did you hear it? Someone did what? They um put your name in a song. Did you hear it? Oh, I didn't hear it. Let me hear it. Say, Ripley, want to give me the nines because I'm a menace. Pull up on they black and I'll stop shooting till they finish. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, bars. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I heard somebody. That was hard. I heard it on the radio earlier. It's really strange, Mr. Grizzly. You know, someone gave me a call earlier. They said there was a hit on my head. You know anything about that? I'm broke, so I can't put it. You know, <laughs> it wasn't yeah, for me. Secret, it ain't come for me. I, listen, I heard the Secret Service wiped your shit. I'm not yeah, they took, they took everything, but you know, it's small things to a giant, you know? That's too bad. Drug <laughs> business is tough, right? I don't know about no drug business, but we back on them blocks getting to it, cutting grass, raking leaves. Oh, okay. Everything we got to do to, you know, get some money. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hey, Mr. August, I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. You know, it's a little bit of a teasing question. Uh, hmm. What's your client's name? I plead the fifth. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, uh, Mr. August, I want to make sure that all the ev uh, evidence is available to you. So uh, yes, if I could ask you to please go ahead. And uh, Mr. Grizzly, I believe that you were there before for a prior case, but uh, I don't think you're there anymore. There is a... Uh, Discordia, where all of the evidence is listed on our behalf. I can send you both invites right now if you're interested in looking at that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah, yeah. fantastic. I'll send you both uh, emails. Okay, babe. Let me know when you send it. August, can you do me a favor? Yes, ma'am. Can you um? And where would it where would something? it be? And um, I need to give you a roll, but it's gonna be in the uh, evidence file. You'll see it in just a moment. Hold on. Oh, okay, okay. Um, which which one? Which evidence? Gun, drug. Um, and no, it's all the way at the top. Hold on one oh, second. Oh, at the top. Okay, okay. Oh, I see it. I see it. All right. 
Okay, bet. I just typed this way and I can't. So I'm going to just go ahead evidence. and throw that up in there too, right? You know what I'm saying? You said it's under evidence? Yep. Uh, if you look all the way at the top under info and updates, there's an evidence <clears throat> section. Got it's it. Crazy. I'm Miss Ripley, I didn't know that your um, your lieutenants, corporals, officers, every I didn't know sergeants in, or anybody were allowed to smoke acid on the job or anything on the job. That's a crazy. What does that have to do with your client murdering one of my officers? Mm, that's crazy. That's a crazy story, ma'am. Does it's that have right. anything to do with it? <clears throat> it's all right, ma'am. I don't good. know about clearly, no clearly we have some. Clearly, we have some corrupt PD on our hands, ma'am. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, Mr. August, can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. Did you have fun with Mr. Basharam down at Bolingbrook today? I did. He's actually a walking man right now. He's uh, controlling his store. How do you feel? You know, now, I, I feel great. I actually really like Mr. Basharam. Mm -hmm. uh, what'd you do with the weapon? Oh, this is here? Kenny. This is Kenny. These what are you talking about? The oh. They're fine. Okay. Mr. Basharam is a good guy. I don't I don't mm -hmm. believe that he would ever have a weapon on him, ma'am. Mr. So, Basharam sounds like I'm he's not, a good guy. I'm not just going to automatically assume that this man is, you know, guilty of any criminal activity. So. Hey, Mr. August, you ever heard of the NSA? The NSA. Yes, ma'am. NASA? <laughs> <laughs> Never did he say NASA, bro. <laughs> Jeez. So how long y'all looking to give me? That's up to the prosecutor. I'm just here to provide any, uh, evidence. I'm that's the judge the as well. That's, that's the prosecutor over there with the, um, with the glasses right there? Yes, it is. Oh, man, if they lucky, they let you walk. <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, sir, how long y'all looking to give me? Let's disclose information, sir. Is it, damn, this is <laughs> I can't even know what my guidelines is. Wow. That's crazy. That's he can't even know his own case. That's you know, I, think, I, ain't gonna lie. I think we'll wait for the judge. <laughs> I know you felt like it when you was getting ready, but that pink and brown don't hit, brody. <laughs> <laughs> Keep okay, it so fuck with thank you, man. You. And you, you about to lose this case, you man. <laughs> Undefeated, man. Sir, did you grab your grandfather's over jacket when you stepped out the house? That's exactly what he did. Who, me? Who? The lawyer over there. Man. What the fuck is You look pretty in pink, sir. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like your outfit, Mr. Joe. Thanks. Don't let her, don't let her pities uprise your, your, your. I think your, it looks good. I think it looks good. I like, I like the yours. They match you. Man, tell, tell my man Kenny, let's get this case started so I get back to the block, man. The block calling. Uh, let me go ahead and give him a call. Oh, there he is. I hear him. I gotta get back to the trenches, man. They need me. <sighs> Kenneth, Kenneth Adams. Mr. Adams, Kenneth are you Adams. in here? All right. Okay, fantastic. We're there. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, what's your name? My name's Mr. Freeman, sir. Mr. Freeman, uh, Mr. Lord, can we get that on file? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Freeman. Gotcha. Mr. Freeman. Freeman, you got a first name, bro? Yes, sir. It's Jebediah. Jebediah Freeman. I thought it was going to be Morgan. You surprised me. All right. Jambalaya. Jeb what? Jambalaya. <laughs> you said what's your first name, sir? sir Jebediah. Jebediah. Jambalaya? Je <laughs> Funny man, I see, sir. This guy, you a nice pot of soup, Philly. All right, Jebediah, man. Hey, I want to sit right here. Y'all go sit right here. I'm gonna move to the other side for you. Nah, you good? Sure. <laughs> you from New Jebediah. Orleans, bro? Hey, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. I think Rosa Parks up in the back seat. Man. All right, man. We beat this case. We gonna go eat some jambalaya, man. Jambalaya. <laughs> Ooh, look at D. Okay. If y'all be if y'all be this case, kind of make down the second you right. Say less, man. And we beat this case. We need every penny T loss. Gotcha for the free. Need a um, dollar. Gotcha you know, for the free. I'm not gonna lie to you. Man. Yeah. You know, LSPD didn't seize those assets. Mm. You better find who did and track them down. LSPD didn't seize those assets. Mm. Oh, that was the Secret Service. They put out an alert and everything. Yeah, but they got seized because of the information that LSPD gave to them. LSPD provided. Yeah. They actually got seized based on the evidence that the state, state Andreas, uh, uh, police gave them. It's a secret service, so, nigga. Yeah, so you just said police. Okay, Mr. August, I, I understand that you're not really familiar about how things work in this in the city as far as law enforcement The SASD goes. and, and, and the know, LSPD are in the same jurisdiction, yes? No, they're not. What do you mean? They both control in the same jurisdiction. State police. 
All right, so they do they have jurisdiction in this state? LSPD only controls what happens in the city. Does sorry. does answer the question? Does SASP have jurisdiction in this I'm state? I'm not on trial. You're not going to tell me to answer no. Okay, so there you go. So why are you avoiding the question if you don't want to answer it? All I'm right. not avoiding the so question. So being as that it's they just, both have jurisdiction that's, uh, in this state. That's very confidential information. Let's uh, save it. Let's just save, let's save our arguments. LSPD. Let's just save our arguments for the case. Yeah. Okay. You, We're gonna get down to me, Mr. August. We're gonna get down to the bare bones. Save your arguments to save your client. We're gonna get down to the bone marrow. It's all good. Yeah. No cap. So you can't even spell bone marrow. M a r r o w. Judge, can you add? I'm so good to see you, sir. You forgot the the bone. Hey, sir. Good man. Good man. I was gonna say something. Never mind. Mr. Grizzly. Yes, sir. You were supposed to be on a uh, work uh, probation. Did that happen? Yeah, I was on work release, and um, I was released and working until 3.2 billion got took, and I went into a state of depression. And um, here we are. Oh shit, this rolls out. Gotcha. Uh, really quick, I hear an echo. 39. Did anybody else hear that? Yeah, 39. I definitely hear the echo. That's uh, one one seventy eight one seventy eight. Yo, what you on, my nigga? I'm going to be uh, just a <laughs> wild reminder. Get this dude out of here, bro. <laughs> hey, one seventy eight, my boy, mute your mic. Please remind to put yourselves on talk when spoken to. If not, you will be removed uh, from the school, and you will not be able to return. Thank you. Hmm. Mr. Kenny Adams, how we doing today, Judge? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I believe we're ready to get started. Um, so my only question, Mr. Grizzly, was you did stay out of trouble, right? Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Judge, Judge, I would never embarrass. I would never embarrass you, Judge. I would never embarrass this courtroom. I have nothing but respect for you in this courtroom. You know. I appreciate that. And I appreciate every chance that you have given me. And I promise you that when this is all over, you will be very proud of the citizen. That I am. Okay, let's go through here. Uh, court is now in session. Y'all may be seated. Prosecution, can you name the charges that Mr. Grizzly is uh, currently facing for this trial? Yes, sir, Mr. I Mr. Grizzly, and right now is facing, you know, capital murder, brandishing a firearm, fleeing, evading, having an imported illegal gun, conspiracy to run a drug operation. Oh, shit, that was Miss Okay. And hey, Mr. Grizzly, how do you plead? I'm a not pause. guilty. We plead not guilty, Your Honor. Understood. Uh, prosecution, your opening <laughs> statement, please. We hear as the LSPD find Mr. Grizzly, you know, guilty on numerous accounts of things here that he has done here in the past. We have a lot of evidence built up towards him. And today we're going to use this here in court at law. Okay. And defense, your opening statements. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, Your Honor. LSPD, thank you everybody for joining us here today. So now, in this case, we have, I believe that it is a matter of corruption. It is a matter of harassment, and it is a matter of jealousy, you know, as it gets down to the point where my client has been the only one to step in this courtroom and have multiple cases on him on a back-to-back -back basis. No other person in this community, no other person outside of this community has ever had a court case done on them besides my client. Now today, I have provided a single piece of evidence that will condemn not only the LSPD, but everybody that they choose to associate with and make sure that they get the proper criminal justice that they deserve. This can no longer stand. My client can no longer go through this harassment and this type of, I don't know what to call it. 
That's how angry I am. Please keep in mind today, ladies and gentlemen, that when you're looking over this evidence, allegedly against my client, just remember one thing. This man is the only person to have ever stepped foot against the court in this courtroom. Thank you for hearing me. All right. Things August. Has everybody been given a chance to review the evidence for this court case? <clears throat> I'm sorry if you said something, Mr. Uh, Mr. Adams. You you broke up a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, were you given the chance to review the evidence? Um, I can do so right now. Um, I was talking. I forgot to. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was my fault. Gotcha. Um, but I've seen this one before. I'm just gonna quickly go through it. Um, okay. So that was the car explosion. They didn't charge him with. Um, what exactly? Wh which exact piece of evidence should should I be looking at? Like which ones? Are we? Uh, are you looking in the LSPD Discord yet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in the uh, email strand uh, called evidence, that's what you're looking? Yeah. Okay. So from top to bottom? From all the way from top to bottom because some of yes. these got thrown out. Um, what was this? Um, That car bomb one got thrown out because they couldn't prove it. And we already it decided that. It wasn't thrown out. Well, we're, we're mean... not, listen, we're not charging him with it, but it's still evidence towards the case. Obviously. Okay, okay, all right. The 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 man the the I don't know the woman that canceled. There we go. The woman hand off. The client female. that canceled. The uh, they're reporting to the clothing store that they uh are selling drugs. So we got them two drugs. right there beside each other. Yeah, we got them two beside each other. Red red hood and. Email. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's Again. Yeah. Boom. It's another handoff. All right, we want these right. two right here. Get every unit we possibly have to move in and just take that female. Yo, can you hear me, Xavier? Every single unit. I want every I single think direction. Two vehicles and we need like M13s now. Or ten thirty days. Control, which means it falls back to you, or the command, or the officer commanding them, and then that commanding officer falls back on you. And that is one hundred percent correct. Unless they are federal, and they are federal. So, yeah. Mr. August, it's my understanding that the state police uh, falls under. Their chief and LSPD falls under Chief Ripley. Well, if you if you look at the evidence, sir, there is also um, LSPD as well as SASP there as well. So they're, um, you know, guilty by guilty oh, by yeah. association. You know what I'm saying? There was LSPD also talking about incidents where they were doing drugs and uh, other things while clocked in. So I want to review this footage really fast Go ahead. in a second. You'll also see in the clip. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it, I got the a long enough clip. But if I did, towards the end, you'll also hear them talking about my client. In an un, um, how would you say, <laughs> kind manner. Mr. August, I hear a lot of talk about uh, these officers' uh, cousins. And I failed to see an LSVD officer at the moment. No, sir. They, sure they, were, they were. They were. They. Yeah. They were talking. If you look at the clip, sir. Um, let me go back with you. So, if you look at the clip, sir, you'll see there is. I believe there was four. There's one. Two. Sorry, two what, LSPD what, what and two at? SASP. Okay. The the one that I recently posted. Okay. And right above you. And evidence, right? Right. Yes. That's what I'm saying. They really don't. 
but, you know, but most of the time they they do take losses. I can't yeah, lie, but it, it depends on how you I'll look at it. Yeah. Because ninety nine percent of the time you're not gonna win car chases. Ninety nine percent of the time you're not gonna win foot chases. You know what I'm saying? So oh, you no, guys bro, do I be lose. winning all them foot, foot foot chases, bro. That's my specialty, bro. Damn. <laughs> I, yeah, I be nah. popping that zon, bro. Right before I be heady steam on what? Cause when you smoke that uh, zon from the zon zon stop or whatever, <laughs> that shit give you speed. Like it, it dead ass give you speed. So you run fast as shit, bro. It's funny as fuck when you just catch up right behind their ass, bro. That shit's mad funny. Hey, you ever tried driving while you smoking on our uh smoking on uh what's it called? Uh uh, that shit that make your screen shake. Fuck, what is it? Uh, acid. Acid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I only popped that once though. I popped one Fetty before. That shit killed me. <laughs> Officers arrest this man. Illegal use of drugs. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Talking about my cousin, bro. My cousin. So. Yeah. Hey, Mark, hey, Mark. Give, give him just a moment. Okay, I'm here. What happened? Oh, I'm just trying to get the uh, officers to identify themselves right quick from me to prove that they're SASP. Is that uh, Mr. Perfect in the back? That is yes. Mr. Perfect in the white, yes. Can you I'm not grab safe. the officer in the corner's ID? Yep, that way. Stay trooper in the corner. And and actually, yep. Your Honor, if I could, uh, yes. not, because this is being called into question, both these gentlemen are in their head, I have the State Andrea State Police Registry. I can provide that to Mr. August. Uh, it was provided to me by Mr. Hank Schrader. You can see both cops clearly in their pictures taken for the SASP by their colonel, Mr. Hank Schrader. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. As long as we have that as, a, as evidence, then, you know, we'll we'll go with whatever the judge says about that piece of evidence that I pro provided. Sure. Okay. I'll go ahead and provide that. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Can we... Uh, looks like that him. gentleman with the blonde hair is sergeant. Uh, do the SASP do not have, not have different roles or different, like, names of their... Roles or they do. They have they do. Colonel, it... Lieutenant Colonel. They have troopers. Uh, they're oh, state cool. police. They're completely separate jurisdiction. They handle cases separately. For example, the IRS case that Mr. Grizzly is involved in right now is state uh, state police. It has nothing to do with LSPD. Okay. Free that blood clot. Okay, but I, I see their I see their pictures. Okay, okay, so it's whatever the judge, Mr. Kenny Adams, whatever you decide about my piece of evidence. I do, I personally, I believe that you shouldn't throw it away because I do believe that the SASP and the LSPD have been coexisting for a. Uh, Kane, you're looking for them bits. Period, Nikki, I appreciate you for them gifted subs. Time. Nikki, appreciate you for the gifted subs. Kane, you're looking for them bits, gang. Provided things for each other and they have gone on. We about to beat this shit, man. Of raids sorry, sorry, and. Sorry cruises and everything else with each other all right so with that being said i do not believe that the piece of evidence should be thrown out but at the end of the day it is what whatever you decide so i'm going to throw this out but the reason i want to throw it out is because Where just because lspd and sasp have joint ventures together One more and time. cooperate with each other mm -hmm. um on a knees to no basis. They still ain't say it what I did or how I'm guilty or nothing. Are like, two separate departments. So, your Honor, Your Honor, if I may, if I may, yeah. I apologize for interrupting you, but is it not guilty by association? No. The, I don't, I what don't about so. what? But what happens when the community is involved with somebody that, or somebody from the community is involved with somebody that's just done a crime? That's not guilty by association. No, that man shouldn't be charged though. So, in another example. Um, if you had two separate hospitals and one hospital was being sued, you wouldn't include both hospitals in that lawsuit. Right, if but if both, but thing. if, but if both hospitals had something to do with each other, it's guilty by association, correct? But you wouldn't sue both hospitals. Is my point, mm -hmm. right? So in this evidence, you wouldn't condemn LSPD when it's not LSPD saying these uh, things in court. Okay. Okay, you know what? We'll just label it as debatable, and we'll go with your decision. All right, I, I okay, respect so it. It's respectable. We're, we're gonna throw that out. Okay. Uh, me, Your Honor, may I? Yes. Please. Um, another good example would also be um, 
let's say you and this is just this is just an example this is not a real thing right uh let's say that you mr august and mr grizzly went a car yeah. together and mr grizzly was driving mm -hmm. um mr grizzly would be the only person that gets a speeding ticket not both of you whether this you're in the car or not right but um, that's not a can, can, I, can i pose a question please please um, Mr. Kenny, if we if 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 I rob a bank and you driving, right? Are you gonna get um sentenced for being a driver? You would. You get sentenced for robbing a bank. Right, right, right. But you didn't technically rob the bank, but you would still get sentenced for robbing the bank. You see how that right. works? Understood. But in this clip, as you clearly see, LSPD leaves and SASP stays. But they were associated. Right? Yeah, um, Judge, where, where, where was SASP when he said this stuff? Right in front of us. Right in front of no, us. No, no, what location? Where, where was he? In front of PD headquarters. In front right. of which, which PD? P uh, LSPD headquarters. Okay. That, what? But they do have their own headquarters. Are you aware of that, sir? I know. So I just want to show you how intertwined it is that they were at right. LSPD. I understand. But I am going to throw that out. Okay. Okay. All right. So, all right. Can we move no. on to the first piece of evidence? Uh, yes, sir. Prosecution? Yes, sir. Speculation. <laughs> all the real niggas came to court to see me. Out to the guys, man. Curvy, you're looking for them gifters, my dog. Uh, Mr. Freeman. Your first argument, Mr. Freeman? Mr. Freeman? <laughs> no. Yeah, I was, I was fixing my voice box. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the first piece of evidence, please. The first piece of evidence that we have here, we have Mr. Grizzly walking into the store of Mr. Bastron's. Damn. Okay. And, he, and as you know, he walks in, Mr. Bastron's, he has an accomplice with him. Is and, that an evidence? Know, you ran up on Mr. Bacharan. You have a illegally imported gun. Okay. Is that an evidence? You rob. He 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 tells Bacharan to put his hands up, and Bacharan yells out, "F you, Duke." If I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> and then Duke yells back, "F you, Bacharan." Security runs in. He shoots the accomplice known as Duke, quote unquote. Mr. Grizzly turns around, shoots the manager, I mean, well, the security officer, and then turns around and shoots Mr. Bacharan. Is that an evidence? All right. <clears throat> Is that an evidence? Am I, can, am I allowed to? Yes. Uh, uh, one second. Uh, whoever is whispering, uh, it is submitting evidence. It's the very first clip in the evidence tab for us to look at. And uh, Mr. August. I didn't see that shit. Hold on. It's a no face, no case. No fucking face, no fucking case. Hey, hey, you got it, bro. You got it. You got it. You got it, bro. Fuck, bro. Hey, bro. Look. No face, no fucking case. Hey, doggy boy. Hey, look. 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 Blow that bitch down, bro. You Fuck, it, bro. Nigga. No, 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 you got it, bro. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, that bitch. Does not even show how or when they picked it up. So, with that all being said, I do not believe that we are even trying to justify that this is my client. This is absolutely disrespectful, and it clearly shows. That the LSPD <laughs> are willing to do anything and everything to try and get my client locked up after the numerous cases he has been through in this courtroom. Thank you very much. No face ain't no case. Learned okay. that the hard so way. He raises an interesting point. Mr. Freeman, where did the LSPD obtain this uh, evidence <clears throat> of Mr. Bacharan's uh, store? I may say up in broad day. No face ain't no case. Learned that the hard way. Is he in his hand? Uh, Ripley, you, we can't hear you. I saw you raise your hand. 
Hey, I'm gonna push the talk. Shut the fuck up. Giving Mr. Freeman an opportunity to speak. Mm. See if he wants Mr. to let's <clears throat> Yes, sir, Mr. Uh, okay, so I was asking you, where did the LSPD uh, obtain this footage? It's Mr. Adams, LSPD obtained this footage from the inside of the store, Mr. Basharam's cameras. Do we have verification of that? No. So why are we still using this piece of evidence? Yeah, yes, we do, sir. We do have verification. All right, so can we see the... If, if we did have verification that you guys went up to the cameras and physically pulled them down and or went onto the back room and whatever did something with the security then you should have provided that before the court was started therefore judge i believe that this piece of evidence should be thrown out those guys that your cameras ain't got no fucking audio it is clearly faulty so chief ripley will yes, we happen to, will we happen to have uh footage of you uh, the, oh man, I got a pair of gloves on now, man. Come I on, do man. have footage. If it's admissible, I'll provide it. Uh, I can provide testimony as to how it was obtained, but I'm just waiting until uh, someone either calls me to the stand or asks. Understood. So anytime you're ready to provide the evidence of how you obtained the Sure. Footage. Your Honor, I object so, with the reason being that evidence has already been closed. This is a discovery at this point because you have offered a the new piece of evidence that you calling into question this evidence basically so yeah. if she can provide said evidence that she has obtained it legally without foul play then i have to you know let the evidence uh, continue in the court case would you like for me to provide testimony or would you like to see the clip where we went into mr bashram's office and he pulled it for us can you provide the clip please Sure, give me just one moment. I'll and, post it in the evidence. And, oh, is it also verified the gas station cameras have audio? Because last time I checked that they they don't have any. Bro, customs, good looking for the five gift. That's my boy. And last time I also checked, we don't have voice recognition in the city. So can we verify that that's my client as well? Somehow, some way? Uh, in the clip uh, and in the testimony that I'm about to provide, you will see that Mr. Basharam uh, actually spoke to... Uh, Someone who was with Mr. Grizzly, and that person said his name. Just give me one moment, I'll provide that for you. <clears throat> While we're waiting for this clip, I will like to say, in this clip, there is audio. Oh, so balls it. Audio. Right, body cams have audio, but CCTV cameras don't. Not all of them, but there are some. And what they're saying Gas is... Gas station, they got definitely them. don't. What they're saying is that they pull this footage from his office... So mm -hmm. it wouldn't be body cam, it would be cameras. And right. Like I said, CCTV has, uh, doesn't have body but his body cam has audio, CTV, CCTV does not. I understand the argument, but if they pulled it from his office and the clip has audio, then his cameras have audio. Yes, we're waiting for a chief Ripley to provide the clip. Okay, should be posting in just a moment. Okay. Looks like you guys did your homework. I'm in court, bro. There you go. Perfect. Thank you.
Let's all take a moment to review this footage. Like I said, Your Honor, this this little piece of evidence that they have provided, not once does Mr. Bashram say T Grizzly, not once does he say Duke, not once does he say he anything with my client. I I provided the clip showing you that we did in fact pull that evidence from his uh, his office. If you'd like the longer clip, it's going to take me a little bit longer to get. You may want to move on to something else, and I can provide it uh, in just a few moments. It's so a longer clip where he has testimony. So. Oh. It's my understanding that this is the office where they got the footage from. So Correct. Yep. You can, in the clip. beginning, you can see Mr. Bashram reaching down to his computer. He's reviewing the clips. He watches it, and then he explains what happens in the clips. Uh, gotcha. It's a wide-known fact that all of the gas stations, as well as the banks, have CCTV, and Mr. Bashram has personal, personally installed security cameras inside of his gas station due to the increasing violence inside of his gas station. Understood. <clears throat> So, uh, Mr. Freeman. Yes, sir. You're saying that the person in this video is Mr. T. Grizzly, and he comes in to rob Mr. Basharan? Yes, sir. Five, five, crap! Oh! He robs Mr. Basharan, and then uh, I believe Mr. Basharan security. Is that who that is? Yes, sir. That's Mr. Basharan security. Okay, and Mr. Grizzly shoots Mr. Bashram security and then kills Mr. Bashram, or at least shoots Mr. Bashram. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, understood. <clears throat> Are we ready for the next piece of evidence? Your Honor, yes. I have one last thing to say about that piece of evidence. Proceed. Like I said before, there's no face. There's no proof that that's my client. There's no right. proof that, you know what I'm saying? that my client is associated with the person or persons in that video gotcha. all right um there is no voice recognition there is no mr Bashram said this about this about my client there's none of that there is no you know voice verification of Ms. Ba mr Bashram even saying anything regarding my client's name okay. all right i just wanted to put that out there and make sure that the court and everybody knows that that is a a, a true fact when it comes to looking at this piece of evidence that the, the LSPD provided. Understood. So uh, what I'll say right now is LSPD is claiming that that's Mr. Grizzly, right? And what you're saying is there's no uh, definitive proof that it is actually Mr. Grizzly. 100%. Understood. So all of that is noted. And we're going to move on to our next piece of evidence. Uh, prosecution, what's the next piece? <clears throat> Give me one. It would have been fire if they made do from the gas station get on the stand or try to point me out in the lineup. They made him get on the stand. What do you remember from the night at the gas station? <laughs> that would have been hard. Gilmore 322, good looking for the 10 gift is my boy. Mr. Freeman, are you ready? Yes, sir. So the next piece of evidence against Mr. Grizzly is the shooting we got, you know, responded to at the garage, at PD garage. Okay. Clearly, when you pull up there, there is no one there. There's a Dale Leo. But okay. as, you know, one of the officers conduct their search, they found a bullet with Mr. Grizzly's name. You say I got my cousin pregnant? What the fuck? What the fuck? And, you know, and the gun that came back was from a, you know, let's say we can't get those guns anywhere, you know, regularly around here. 
Understood. Uh, you may proceed. Or were you? No. And then also, you know, say if so, allegedly, you know, it's him. Also on the scene, you know, he's not there. So that's fleeing and evading. If you want to add that in there as well. <clears throat> and also, you know, brandishing a firearm. May I interject, Your Honor? Yes, or please, is please. Mr. Freeman done? Please. Okay. Defense. So, so as I take a look at that that little piece of quote unquote evidence that yes. the LSPD provided, as you can see, my client is nowhere to be seen I'm sorry, in that Mr. clip. August. I'm sorry, Mr. August. Where is the evidence at? Oh yes, sir. So if you go into the um the same piece of, uh the the same Discordia we were in, it's mm -hmm. the yes. second video. Okay. You're, you're not maximizing what you're saying right now, you know. Uh, you're do the math. <laughs> Got a guy. Oh, well, um, I, I don't deal with niggas that text. I, the government already texts. Why I gotta deal with Fuck, where is it? Three seconds. Okay. Hey, Seconds. You gotta go. You gotta make sure you get back in. A PD garage? Um. Can you uh come here, Ripley? I, uh, I'm gonna check. Off. Just need to uh, give something to you. I don't see any shots though. Yeah, I don't see shit. Maybe he died. Oh, yeah, I did. I got oh, I got it right here. It's right here. A oh, light. Oh, whoa. Actually, I'm just gonna... no, sorry, a fucking I'm LMG. Hmm. Okay. What is the uh, name on the on the bullet? Hey, Chief. Uh, right over did you get that, Ripley? Yeah. yeah. A light. Oh, look like I right here, like I say I did it. Yeah, I did. I got oh, I got it right here. It's right here. A oh, light. Oh, whoa. Right, I'm interested to see how my lawyer gonna fight that one. <laughs> To my client, my client. Again, if you steal, rob, or even take a gun out of somebody's car, if you could even ask somebody to hold something right quick without even knowing what it is, it could be anything. It could be tied up in a bag or anything. You could ask someone to hold it. Boom, your fingerprints are now on it. Does that mean you're tied to a murder? Does that mean that you should be convicted of something you know nothing about because you held something? I don't believe so. I don't believe so at all. Okay, so, Mr. Freeman. Yes, sir. Can you re-explain to me what this clip is exactly showing? So, as you see in the clip, officers respond to a shooting at PD Garage. Okay. They, they pull up. They see a dead officer by a BMW with doors open. Gotcha. They go around, conduct their search, looking for bullets, looking okay. for shell cases. They found the shell casing. Yes. They find it with Mr. Grizzly's name on it. Okay. And the same gun that he used against Mr. Basharan. You said the same gun that he used against Mr. Basharan? How do we know that's even my client in that Mr. Basharan clip, sir? I mean, How do we know that my Mr. client Prosecutor? even fired that gun? How do we know that that gun was not put in my client's hand unwillingly? And then used to try and frame him in this type of incident right now. Like I stated before, my client has been the only one to walk in this courtroom. So unless you can prove to me in this court and everybody else in this court that you're not corrupt. Being that my client is the only one to be in this courtroom. Then I guess you have a real case. But until then, until you can prove to me. That my client has done, really done these things and have solid evidence. These things are just hearsay. These things are just alleged. These things are just disrespectful and they're trying to get my client off the streets for some reason. A community man. Okay, so just for understanding and clarification, 
Mr. Freeman. Yes. The forensics team found the bullet casing. It came back to T. Grizzly. Yes, sir. And the gun used was uh, MG, correct? Yes, sir. An MG, a legally imported gun. Okay, and where is this gun now? Do we have the gun? It's in my possession, sir. And okay. your honor, yes. do we? I, I'm, so, I'm sorry to object, but do we know that it was that gun that killed the PD officer? I, uh, Mr. Freeman. Although objection, I was going to say, well, there's only way, one way to find out. Do you mind if I call Chief Ripley to the stand, please? You may proceed. Bailiff, please swear in, Chief Ripley. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so I hope you got I do. Okay. Miss it. Thank you, Bill. <clears throat> Mr. Freeman, you're a witness. All right. Chief Ripley. Yes, sir. So, do you have everything <laughs> starting from Mr. Bosham at the store when you went in to get the evidence? You know, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, Mr. Freeman. The, yes, the defense um, wants to rule out that evidence, and if, if he needs to, I, I guess he can. However, what I will say is that uh, the gun that I have in my possession right now, it's physically in my pockets. Uh, I can't show you in here, but if someone would like to step outside, uh, the defense would like to step outside, I could show it to you. It was handed to me personally by Mr. T. Grizzly while he was going under a false alias while uh, detained. Mm -hmm. Uh, that same uh, gun matches the one that shot the bullet that killed the officer inside of our PD garage. As you can see, the CSI unit, who was uh, Mr. Perfect, actually used his flashlight to determine where exactly that was fired from, the trajectory of the bullet, what type of casing, and uh, who the DNA, as well as the ballistics, registered back to, and that was, in fact, Mr. T. Grizzly. Thank you, Chief Ripley. All right, Mr. Ripley, you may. Uh, Your Honor, I have some down. questions for Ms. Ripley. Oh, okay. I'll get some papers here. Your witness. All right. Ms. Ripley. Yes, sir. How are you, Mr. August? I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? Right. So, let me get right to the point. All right. I believe okay. the fastest way to get from A to B is a straight line. So, look, I just want to ask you a couple things. <clears throat> Have you, how many times have you charged my client and brought him to this courtroom? Personally? LSPD in general, since you represent them. Um, I, I can't tell you, sir, because uh, I was not involved with previous cases. I think there's only been one, and that was a RICO case. So, as you can recall, it's only been one. As long as I have been in a position uh, that I'm in, yes. Okay, all right. Now, you are aware that my client has been in previous court cases in this courtroom, correct? Of course. All right. Are you aware of anybody else in this community being in this courtroom? And being uh, tried? In general or? In general, anybody. Yes. Who? If you could please name. Mr. Duke, Mr. Tyrone. Uh, Uncle that is not me. associated with my client, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Tyrone is definitely not associated with your client. Uh, All right. Mr. Basharam has taken the stand. Berg, Zoo Mafia. Uh, there have been countless cases here, Mr. August. All right. So have you bared witness to these cases? The majority of them, yes. All right. You have solid evidence of these cases because the community as well as myself seem to have not. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the question is here. I'm asking you, has anybody else outside of the community bared witness to the court cases that have occurred in this courtroom yes that has not been regarding my client yes all right my next question for you is are you 100 percent positive that black market and non-streets permitted guns can be traced if so how Sir, when we say imported weapons, when it is an illegal imported weapon, it means it's something that um, 
let's say, someone unlike you or I, someone who would typically be breaking a city rule would bring in. However, okay. certain people in the city do have access to those weapons. That's neither here nor there. So can you please think of a logical explanation as to how this gun was traced back to my client? His DNA and the ballistics traced back to him, sir. All right. So that's, how the, that's, how, that's how the mechanics of the city work. So you Close. have DNA and ballistics. That is Correct, all? Sir. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get With more basic DNA, than science, no, sir. A, a DNA evidence, that's funny. That's a funny that's thing, right? Thing. You can touch a pencil and your DNA is on it, correct? So we can get down to the nitty gritty of how this works, right? If you'd really like me to. Would you like me to explain? I'm asking you questions, ma'am. I'm, I'm asking you, if you touch a pencil, is your DNA on that pencil? Of course it is. All right. If you touch a chair or if you lick a window, is your DNA on that window or chair? Yes. So let me ask you a question. Yes, it is. Would that imply that your client, in fact, touched the weapon? Because his DNA was on the, the bullets as well as the weapon. He handed it to me personally. Ma'am, I'm asking you simple. Yes or no? If you yes. lick a window or... You're right. All right. Now, if you... Put something on somebody unwillingly. Is their DNA on that item? This shit beat chat. Yes, Mr. Alex. Thank you. All right. Now, my next question. The ballistics. How are you able to verify that that gun was not stolen from my client or put on my client? As a means to put him in this courtroom and charge him for the very thing that you're charging him today. He personally said that it was his weapon. So well have you... Did, did you see this man commit the murder with the weapon? Nope. No, sir. Do you have evidence of this man committing the murder with the weapon? Yes. Nope. Is this man in the video? Is this man anywhere to be found in the video? Nigga, bring up GSR, nigga. No, but uh, DNA doesn't lie. Did you All test right. me for GSR? DNA is very tricky, ma'am. DNA is very tricky. Like you stated, you, Chief Ripley, you stated, if you put something on someone unwillingly, bring their up the DNA fucking GSR. is on that piece of evidence. Bring up That's the why fucking DNA GSR, is a bro. very tricky thing, ma'am. So how can and you I had on gloves too. That weapon was unwillingly put on my client or used against him in order to get him in this position here today. GSR. There was no other DNA on the weapon. He had it personally in his possession and he handed it to me willingly after claiming it as his own. So I, other than that, I can't really answer that. So after that situation occurred, is it possible that the weapon could have been used in various situations and then cleaned? I suppose. You suppose. It's so is that a yes or a yes. no? Mr. August. Mr. August. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, a word. My client. A word with yes. You? Yes, sir. Um, Your Honor, that's all my yeah. questions I have. Um, I am asking for a five-minute recess. Um, your, your, your Honor. Yes. Permission as a defendant to ask Chief Ripley a couple of questions. All right. You may proceed. How you doing? How you doing, Chief? Doing great. I like your change, Mr. Grizzly. Thank you, thank you. So, quick question. Um, so, it's said that I fired a weapon and brought harm to an officer, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, when I was brought in for these crimes, did you guys test me for GSR? Personally, I did not, sir. Okay. So, I didn't come back. I, 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 I didn't have GSR on me. So it's no is no um evidence of me even firing a weapon. Secondly, since we bringing up DNA, because DNA is quite tricky. So when you walked me in, and I don't know if it was before or after after you took the weapon for me from me, but do you remember when you found out who I was? I sure do. What did I take off for you to find out your who mask, I was? Your mask and your gloves, sir. Gloves. Did you say gloves? I did say gloves. Okay, and I never heard of DNA or fingerprints going through gloves. So, I rest, um, that's all my questions. Objection, y'all. 
You may proceed. Thank you very much, Mr. Grizzly. Sir. So, you stated, Mr. August, that your client never touched a gun, correct? Correct. But now he did touch the I'm gun. St I'm uh, sorry, sorry, my, my bad. Let me reiterate. I stated my client did not kill the officer. That is what I stated. But did you not say he didn't touch the gun, but later on as you proceed to ask Ripley questions, he did touch the gun to bring it to Ripley? What I stated, and let me say it one more time, all right? What I stated was that my client could have been unwillingly forced to touch or interact with that weapon. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Chief Ripley. Yes, sir. I have one more question you for Mr. Adams. Do you mind if I call another witness after Chief Ripley? Uh, yes, but I think you should finish with this witness first. Right. I was just asking. So, Miss Ripley, when you were yes, standing sir. outside of PD mm -hmm. and you got a phone call in a hostage situation, mm -hmm. could you run me through this situation? Could you run me through what happened that day? Yes. Um, can I also speak, uh, say one other thing with permission from uh, the judge just on behalf of the prosecution since Mr. Grizzly had a chance to speak on behalf of the defense? You may proceed. I just wanted to say that the bullet casing uh, is where the DNA lies, not the gun. You know, the mechanics of the city, when, when CSI tests a bullet casing, it tells you what type of gun, what class of gun, and if any DNA is on the bullet, the bullet casing itself, right? And that bullet casing specifically came back to Mr. T. Grizzly. Now, if you follow the trail of evidence there, if the bullet casing was fired from the particular gun, and Mr. Grizzly happened to have that specific gun in his position, I mean, one plus one equals two. That's just my opinion. So charge me for the gun and okay. not the murder <laughs> stuff. Thank you, Ms. Ripley. Uh, and are we moving on to the next piece of evidence? Mr. Freeman, is that what you're talking about? Yes, I wanted to bring, uh, is he in here? Uh, Mr. Well, you asked her a question. I'm just, is that the next piece of evidence? Yes, sir. Okay, so Ms. Uh, Ripley, do you have something to say about the next piece of evidence? Uh, let me review it one more time. Hold on. He's going to, he's doing another sale. He has an accomplice with the same shirt on, but in gold color inside of Zaza right now. So now will be the time to move on him. Come in, no sirens, no lights. Mm. They actually, they good. They definitely good. Handoff confirmed. They good at what they do. Perfect, we need a just not better, not just good enough, just not good enough he's to take me down. He's doing another sale. He has an accomplice with the same shirt on, but in gold color inside of Zaza right now. So now will be the time to move on him. Come in, no sirens, no lights. It's definitely me. They got all the evidence. It's just no face, no case. 10 4. 10 4. 10 4. That's a big 10 4. I actually have the identity of Mr. Duke because unlike Mr. T, uh, we were not able to run his fingerprints. However, uh, Mr. Duke called me. I answered the phone and said, hello, Mr. Duke. And he said, hey, why am I still in a holding cell? Nobody going to think and about said, tattoos. You're like in right? a holding cell? And he said, yeah, I've been down here for two hours. So That's a big brain play to there, think about the, the tattoos. To identify. And, uh, and they was yeah, far so away. Basically he self they was too far away. To, they was too far away to um, determine tattoos. The only reason why that is relevant is because uh, one of our undercover agents was actually able to confirm that both Mr. T and Mr. Duke were in that cell. And that is in the next piece of evidence that follows up uh, from the clip. I'm sorry, sir. Not probable cause. Yeah, hey, what happened? 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 What
Wait, 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 wait. What's happening to him? All right, I'm searching him. Yeah, I'm all these here. cops here. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh. I knew he was gonna do that. I knew that nigga was gonna do that. <laughs> Drop some. <laughs> Been that long. Bro, I look bro. at you done doing this. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh. I knew he was gonna do that. I knew that nigga was gonna do that. <laughs> Drop some. <laughs> Been that long. Nah, I look what you done did, son. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> that wasn't me though with that red flag, huh? I don't give a motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, what is that nigga doing, bro? Like, send that nigga off. That, that in fact was my client down in those holding cells, or that he even was in those holding cells? Yes. Is it providing? Is it provided? Um, there is a mugshot there. Uh, I'm sure Mr. Grizzly remembers this. Uh, we had several conversations. Essentially, when Mr. Grizzly was in the cells, initially he was going under the name of Kenneth Jordan. Uh, that all fell apart when we took him in for fingerprints as well as his mugshot. He removed his mask. I immediately recognized his face, but to confirm, we checked his fingerprints, and they did in fact come back to Mr. T. Grizzly. He confessed to his identity, and we actually were in the process of sentencing him to be held for court until the uh, Grizzly gang members held our officers hostage, and I was forced to release him. So his identity was in fact confirmed, not only by himself, but by the uh, fingerprint evidence that was there. You were there, Mr. August. You don't remember? <clears throat> a couple questions, Your Honor, if I may. <laughs> Please, proceed. <clears throat> Ms. Ripley. Yes, sir. With that whole incident regarding the quote-unquote GG members that took your officers kidnapped, or hostage, as I should say, <clears throat> do you have verification that my client even associates with those gentlemen? <laughs> Good question. Are you asking if T Grizzly has any association with Grizzly Gang? <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's what it sounds like. Yes, it's been confirmed in prior cases. <laughs> all right. Crazy. Now, do you have evidence that that that's all alleged? I'm gonna let it go. But do you have evidence <laughs> that my client associated with those men in the video or in the uh, hostage negotiation? I mean, yeah, they called personally to have him. Uh, release they said they're boys so so with that being said do you believe that they could have been attempting to get all four well they were attempting to get all four but do you not believe or do you not consider the fact that those men taking those officers hostage could have been trying to get another person out of jail while focusing on my client Uh, I'm sorry for, for, for the mind oh sake. Oh my God, I'm tasting Ripley by mistake. So, <laughs> so let me let me break it down for you. In many situations, when you have multiple hostages or multiple people in the same place that you want to get out, organizations or lone wolves, whatever you want to call them, will organize a kidnapping or a hostage negotiation to get multiple people out in order to get one specific person out. Do you understand no, no, they, what I'm saying? They specifically... Okay, so two things happened. Okay? So, so hold on, hold on, ma'am. Hold on. So, with that being said, do you not believe that it could be that those men were trying to get my client out of jail, but in reality, the whole purpose of them doing that was to get another person out of jail? That's some dumb, okay. That's some dumb ass question. While you focus and direct all your attention towards my client like you've been doing for the past who knows how long. I can't even count on my fingers if it was months. Do you Mr. not believe Hobbies. that that could be a possibility, ma'am? Because it sure. has been done before. Sure. So, also, when the, when the hostage negotiations were happening, all right, and when my client was, when the hostages were there, was my client in the prison or was he still in the holding cells? Well, the first time your uh, your client was in the holding cells, the second time he was in the prison. So the first time they kidnapped Shay, um, I'm going to uh, expose something here. That was staged by our undercover agent, the first one. 
He was with the Grizzly oh. Gang members. Oh, okay. I do yes, believe sir. everybody in the court has heard that today. They staged something against my client. She fucked up. <laughs> she fucked up. No, in sir. order to get him a conviction. No, sir. That's not the case. You just said you staged something. The LSPD, as far as I'm concerned, shouldn't be staging anything. I thought they were a lawful jurisdiction. Let me go ahead and explain. She should let that little detail out. <laughs> Please so, do. We have an undercover operative working within the Grizzly Gang organization whose name shall not be named because like, he is, of course, undercover. He worked alongside with several other members to take hostage, uh, one of our clients, in order to protect her safety since that was their plan. He actually took physical hold of her, right? That's why she was released safely. However, what happened after that was the rest of the Grizzly Gang members took the other officers and were outside of PD without him. Uh... I believe one of those members may be in this court. I could call his number if you want to see. All right, ma'am. <clears throat> we'll come back to that. Now, I want to ask. Do you believe or do you ever consider the fact that my client could allegedly be desperate to be free? What? What? Now what I text you, bro. Uh, sure. So you, you you do in fact believe that my client is desperate to be free? I think anyone would facing the charges that he's facing. All right. Now he does have a current tax what evasion whatever you would like to call it pending, mm -hmm. right? Big trip. Uh. To be honest, I'm not involved with that case, but that's what I've heard. Yes. Okay, so that client comes with major j that that client that case comes with major jail time, right? He is already fighting something right now. Now he is in this court again, quote unquote, desperate to be free. Once again, if he was so desperate, would he really be showing up to court? Would he really have answered a call saying that he needs to come to court? If my client was desperate to be free, if my client had no other options Do I need to take over? but to come to court, then why on numerous, numerous occasions has he shown up, shown face, and come out of Chad, pocket? Do I need to take over, gang? For multiple crimes in the past that he didn't even get charged with or do. Uh, if he's so desperate to be free. Yes, I heard you. I heard you. Um, so you asked me why. And here's what I'll say about Mr. Grizzly, okay? In the past, he has won very many cases. He's also lost one or two, maybe one. Uh, I've never known Mr. Grizzly not to show up to court. Right? Because at the end of the day, while he may conduct himself in a, a criminally negligent way, he may be associated with drugs, violence, many other things in the city. This is wild. Uh, on record. I think he also understands and values uh, justice and being able to fight for himself, right? He doesn't. Uh, I, I think that I think it's uh, admirable. However, it doesn't change the fact that he's done what he's done. Say, it All right. like y'all want me to take question, over. This is my last question before I take a seat. Now, you brought up, you believe that my client is, is, is associated with drugs, criminal activities, murders, and many other felony and fire team convictional charges. Yes. Uh, Mr. August, have you looked at your client's rap sheet? He's, he's previously gone to jail for those very things. Yes. Twice, if not more. Um, I've been expunged. So, I object, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Grissom. She's bringing up a record that has previously been expunged. Also, she's um saying that some guys came to break me out, but don't have no proof that I that I ordered that. So these guys. Is there so so whether whether these guys are associated to me or not, I cannot stop anybody from acting upon their free will. 
as far as the breakout situation, as far as like what I went to jail for previously, um, I've changed. I'm an upstanding citizen. I sent her um, gifts for this Christmas coming up. I don't know if she got them. I might have the wrong address. But yeah, I'm a changed citizen. And I don't think my previous mistakes that I made when I was younger should be brought up in court after I got them expunged. Mr. Grizzly, with all due respect, you were arrested multiple times between the 18th, uh, actually at least twice, uh, it, with possession of heroin, specifically 98 heroin on the 18th. I, like I said, while I feel like you showing up to court is admirable, it's it's it has nothing to do with your prior record, sir. Um, this is before, this is after your record was expunged for your previous crimes. We don't even have Chief, to bring those up. Chief Ripley, we are not here today to expose my heroin addiction and the battles that I'm facing within myself. It's hard enough that I'm trying to shape this addiction, and you bringing it up and exposing me and what I'm addicted to in front of everybody. I don't feel like that's fair. Also, I mean, and, and all the times that you've arrested me, um, you you don't you have not caught me with fentanyl, which you're charging me with today. And if you have, we'd like to see the evidence. Uh, I don't think we're necessarily only uh, talking about fentanyl here. However, that is obviously a big problem in the city right now. Uh, if you check Twitter right now, I'm pretty sure there's somebody trying to sell it. Uh, you know, pretty out in the open. However. Mm. The, the question that your lawyer posed was, why would you show up to court and uh, about whether or not you were involved with uh, drugs and violence? And to that I say, yes, as recent as the 18th, we have arrested you in association with both drugs. We also witnessed uh, on Twitter, which I'm sure everybody saw, the feud between you and Mr. G Money today and all of the bodies that were posted on Twitter. So, So, all right, Un unless we can get verification that me and my client has done these things, I highly suggest that the the judge disregard whatever the, the well, witness Well, if he was arrested, uh, there will be arrest uh, records of that, right? Right. So, do we have those records? Okay. I, mean, I mean, if we do have those records, I mean, I don't know why we're still submitting evidence. Not no. submit. You're asking about them, Mr. August. So, if you're yes. asking, then we could submit. Right, but everything that has to do with my client has to be in the evidence, no? Well, what I'm saying to you now is that you just asked for the records. Would you like me to provide them, or would you not like me to provide them? Because if so, then we need to strike that question from the so, record, right? any evidence that is needed after the discovery, at the beginning of the court case, is allowed to be submitted. When you so you're, okay, so you're allowing all new discovery discovered evidence. When is a new discovery? Okay, but... So, for instance, if you challenge the legitimacy of a piece of evidence and they have to provide that evidence that it is legitimate, this judge don't want me to, to win. Them to submit that. But I'm still okay. win. May you know I how? just say something to the courtroom just for a second? Yes. Um, there was a rule as soon as you guys walked in stating that uh, there was to be no use of cell phones from anybody. And that's just to prevent recording or anything like that. So if you are seen in stands using a cell phone, you will be escorted out. Thank you. Mikey Skug, good looking for the eight months. Straight game, good looking for the four case. months. Shut up, bitch. Uh, <laughs> Your Honor, is this not a public oh. case? Uh, it is a public case, but you're not supposed to use cell phones in a courthouse. This is... To and prevent, you know, uh, that's understood. Understood. Well, understood. Now, uh, Mr. Freeman, your yes. next piece of evidence. So, sir, within, you know, them saying, <clears throat> Mr. Duke, you know, had a hostage. I right, right, looking for the fire. Get this, my boy. They were held by PD. In the next clip, if you scroll down in the evidence and she's confirmed. So as in confirming that at the time when Duke called Chief Ripley on the phone and confirmed that he was in the holding cell, GG members said, confirmed that two can, I'm sorry, Duke and T were free. Gotcha. 
Thank you. Is that all? Yeah, that's honest. all. I'm gonna do. I just yeah, need to do it. All right. Now, as he stated, he said Duke and T are free, right? Okay. That could mean a numerous amount of things. Duke and T could be a drink. Duke and T could be two completely different random people. Duke and T could be a restaurant for all we know. There was no last names. There's no identification on my client. There is nobody to say, oh, Mr. Grizzly is doing this because we did this. There's nothing. It says Duke and T are free. Like I said, that could be a restaurant, a drink, a soft drink, a food. It could be anything. Okay. Where I'm from, <laughs> Duke means duck, as in duck your head. And free means anybody and everybody. So everybody, duck. That's what I got from it. But like I said, that's where I'm from. And that's what it means where I'm on. from. Kenny, 8860, bro. Appreciate you for the uh, so, four months. Everybody, duck. Why would everybody be ducking? Who knows, nigga? Who knows? Right. What, what would there be a reason? You're asking me that question. Why? Ducking? Why would everybody be talking about a soft drink, Duke and Tea? Why? Why would everybody be talking about a restaurant, Duke and Tea? Duke's of hazard. And you're asking me this question, <laughs> sir. But where you're from? Right. You saying, like I said, everyone duck. But I'm asking, why would they be ducking? Well. I don't know, sir. Like I said, that's where I'm from. That's how I iter iterated it. All right. It means mm. it says Duke and T. That means me that could mean many, many thousands of different things for all you know. Does he say T Grizzly? No, he just says T. For all you know, he could have meant T E A. That's a fact. How do you know he didn't mean the drink? How do you know that he wasn't planning something and that name or that verb got mixed in with the with the topic? How do you know that they're not talking about something else other than my client? Well, sir, if you don't mind me asking Mr. Grizzly a question. No, I do not mind you asking him a question. Unless, Mr. Uh, Freeman, you would have to call Mr. Grizzly to the un phone. Unless, unless he agrees. Um, I have no problem with that. All right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Freeman, step down. Mr. Grizzly, can you please take the stand? Bailiff, please swear in. Mr. Grizzly. No problem, Your Majesty. I mean, Your Honor. Your Honor. You just want to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so be God. Yes, sir. Do you, sir? Mr. Grizzly? Yes, sir. Uh, let's proceed. Uh, Mr. Freeman, you're a witness? Sorry. What, Mr. Adams? Let's say you're a witness. You had a question yes, for Mr. Grizzly, right? Yes, sir. So, Mr. Grizzly, when you're on the outside, you know, when you're roaming the streets, uh -huh. is your alias not T? Um, people call me T, yes. Uh, so, in this video, as you see, your alleged friends, is what we're going to call them, say Duke and T are free. Um, I don't know everything about this man, so I don't know how many T's he know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't sit here and say that he was talking about me, but yes, people call me T. <laughs> oh, he shouldn't have called me up here. I'll make his ass look stupid. People call you. <laughs> okay. I'm breaking up, sir. Yes, Mr. Freeman. Give me one second. You, uh... Give me one second. One second. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me now? Is yeah. He stuck. He yes, stuck. Yeah. It's my game. Fuck up. He's stuck. All right. Yeah, we're, we're good. Sound like Barry White now. What the fuck happened? <laughs> uh, Mr. August, please. Apologize. <laughs> I thought my thing was muted. I apologize. 
he stuck. Nah, look. Any more questions, sir? Um, no, mm -hmm. we can't hear you. No, we cannot hear you, sir. <sighs> he stuck, not gay. He told me this where you fucked me up. Okay. You have two get out of jail free cards. I ain't even got to use oh, them, bro. Hey, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas Eve to everybody in here. You feel me? Merry Happy Christmas holidays. Eve to everyone. Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Merry Eve, Christmas chat. Eve. chat. Yeah, Merry Christmas, oh, oh, oh. isn't it? Merry Christmas Eve, man. W community, man. I got COVID for so Christmas. W community. I hope you get better, bro. <laughs> same. I got the same order, shit. Get order in the court. Order in the court. Come on. Stay serious, please. Any more questions, Mr. Prosecutor? I believe he's still trying to fix his uh, voice box, Mr. Grizzly. Yeah. Yo, Morgan, Fre uh, Mr. Freeman. Your voice box. Got a frog in your throat. This shit ain't fuck up this whole court case. <clears throat> All right. Mr. Kirby, T, these are, I just have a questions for you while Mr. Uh, Mr. Freeman fixes himself. Okay. Soggy, you're looking for the motherfucking... Um, first sub. question. Are you... Or are you not a victim of pro police brutality? I am. Could you please state exactly what the police have done to you on just one occasion, sir? The better question would be, what have they, what, what they did, what didn't they do to me, sir? Okay. So are you suggesting that the police have used excessive amounts of force on you on various occasions? Yes, and, it, and my arm still hurts a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, while you're doing your community activities, being a good Samaritan, right? Yes, sir. Helping the children and helping the general public. All the time. Have you ever encountered the police on a hostile encounterment? I have. All right. Now, are those police officers still in the line of duty to this day they are some of them are in the courtroom but i won't point them out because of um, fear for what they might do what i've seen them do to other people fear fear ladies and gentlemen fear <laughs> fear for his life fear for his soul fear for his family and friends fear against the people that are supposed to protect and serve the public <laughs> now someone that's supposed to protect and serve the public i don't think you should be fearing them do you agree with me mr mr grizzly i do i mean they're supposed to be the heroes of the community but better, better villains all right now with this fear would you say that it has caused you to do irrational things when witnessing the police in public um repeat the question would you say that your fear against the police has caused you to do rational or unlaw abiding things um if you mean like running for my life yes yes sir <laughs> yes so while you're running from your life could you please say to the court what type of emotions what type of things do you have running through your mind at the time that makes you so scared and makes you so fearful I mean, when I see these officers, you know, and and um, something a, a a great deal of fear just come over me, and I just I just black out sometimes, you know, and I just black try to out. get the, I just try to get to safety as fast as possible because because they're, they're monsters, they have no regard for human life. All right, now, Mr. Grizzly, I am aware, you know, as your lawyer, I am aware that you take medication for legal purposes because you have multiple problems with the police that has led you to have to smoke medical marijuana and take medical codeine is that correct yes and um um permission to be completely open in court yes sir um my fear for the police has caused me to get addicted to heroin addicted to hair Ladies and gentlemen, an addiction is something that one person cannot control. Is the judge still here? I'm going to recess. Uh, the judge said to take from this. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to take a five-minute recess and wait for the judge.
Uh, he's going to pop right back in his head, but for right now, you guys can um, go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. Fucking nephew, pass, I know you, you ain't shooting up. Too, I'll bang you up right here. What the fuck? You ain't shooting up, nephew. Oh, I'm talking to you, bro. Oi, babe, talking about my breath, bro. Why you, you get talking about my breath? Hey, hey, um, hey, 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 don't fuck up my defense, huh? Hey, don't let him walk out here. this court. Watch out, son. Hey, T, save some of that fin up. You two are on me. Well, you and your tag. You need to eat, bro. Stop making me out of a hard case, my guy. What the fuck is he doing, bro? What's happening? Come here, Malnourished ass motherfucker, don't be feeding yourself, bro. Let's big ass babes, don't you, brush that shit, man. Oi, babes, take some fried gum guy? with that smelly mouth. I said, babes, don't put me babes on your babes. Don't do that, babes. Hey, man, shut your bitch ass up over there, homie. This is a true <laughs> 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 Tell him, us. Pussy boy. I told Pussy you boy. I got my cousin oh, pregnant. Oh, what you doing, fool? Yeah, okay, I'm talking about me, man. Hey man, I appreciate I appreciate the trenches pulling up, man. Supporting the real one, man. No cap. Right. Yeah. 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 I really hope I really hope you mean that. Merry Christmas, man. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Trenches. Yeah. Hey, you already know there's no solid evidence. Yeah. Fuck you, you know, talking about my trenches. I know you heard my stomach over here, T. I'm starving, my nigga. You feel me? Man, I got some I got some money if you need something, brody. I mean, if you don't eat something, man. Respect, man. Stop teaching niggas fuck. Hey, Uncle, you won't get me right oh, with that. Oh, is that Coco right here? What's my shit? Jebediah, give me a second. Right. Oh, for Christmas, some of y'all niggas got new mics. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all need to let go of the potatoes. Yo, Jebediah, change them clothes while you gone, bro. Who's this Yo, with the backpack and reindeer? Which one tilt to a boy? Hey, 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 Keep that nigga you are, you a one up. man champ, my boy. Relax. Now you bad. He, he trying to get a chance started okay, for right. you, I right? Okay. <laughs> Who's stressing, bro? Definitely not for you, mate. Hey, why, hey, why didn't y'all join Who me with that champ? Bro? We might have to meet this up tomorrow. Man, Fuck up. that nigga. Oh, chill. Can you guys chill out? Oh, my, bad. my guy. You, my bad. I thought there was another unicorn. What? Shorty out here looking like the, the crimson fuck? chin with that jawline. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yo, someone keeps no. giving me bagged meth, weed. Like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck out. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Let me get some. So snitching. <laughs> My friend. Get that thing to me right here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so snitching. I'm gonna give it right back to yeah. his ass. Hey, chat. What y'all think with. about? What the fuck you talking about? What y'all think about the case so far, chat? What is it looking like, man? Is it leaning towards me winning or losing game? What y'all thinking, bro? Oh, yeah, good G. Hey, man, all sevens tonight, bro. That's my favorite number, bro. Seven is a great number, bro. I got, look how much money I got in the bank. I got $10.7 million in my pocket. In the bank, I got $5.7 million. We got 7,000 viewers. I'm G7. Seven, seven. What's the back of my shirt say? Seven, seven, bro. Feel me? I think that's the day that um God was done with. The, that's the day, on the seventh day is when God chose the rest after He created everything. Seven is a good number, bro. Seven is a good number, bro. I hope everybody in the chat makes seven billion dollars. I hope y'all experience seven million good experiences. Feel me? I hope y'all feel love and peace and happiness. Seven million times. Feel me? I appreciate everybody in here, bro. I ain't shit without y'all. Feel me? We the number one. Hey, somebody just just hated on me, bro. Somebody in the chat just gave me a hundred thousand dollars. So my shit ain't even five point seven no more, bro. Somebody just hated on me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We might have to postpone this case. Oh, man, I'm, I'm not about to, to argue with no five year old. Look, I'm about to tear the oh, fuck see, up. Bro. Hey, hey, hey man, I bet August, this nigga August, got more cool than any of you niggas up in here talking crazy. Mr. August, can I talk to you? Mr. August, can I talk to you? Mr. August? Yes, sir. Fuck that nigga, Coco. Fuck you, bitch. Hey, y'all still talking about his voice and name. Tell me. Bro, you need like a legal expertise to come on the stand. You are allowed to call me. So, you know. Um, Storm, can I have a word with you, please? Um, and Mr. Prosecutor? Just a recess, go fucking go to the store. Hey, we took our break, we coming back in, bro. Look, it's a recess, actually. It's a recess, right? Hey, let's go. She said, ain't nobody else in, bro. It's a recess. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, guys, let's go, let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs then, yeah. It was a fucking recess, bro. I'm not getting in, bro. Oh my god, bro. It was a fucking recess. Ain't nobody else in. Perfect, right here, right here. Perfect, perfect. Come up a little bit more. Come up a little bit more. 
I'm gonna buy this. Okay, do we? I bet. T, you cutting out. Um, do we have Ripley? Um, here is Ripley still here right now? I uh, believe so. Let me call her right quick. Okay. Let me know if we can get Ripley over here. <clears throat> Miss, uh, the judge have oh, you say he just landed? Okay, cause um, uh, Mr. Yeah, T, Miss, right. Mr. T, and myself would like to talk to you upstairs. Uh, oh, Mr. Freeman's here too, and Nikki. Yeah, tell him to come too. Tell him to come too. We just were getting away from all the noise. All right, they're on the way. The judge, Kenny, Perfect. just flew back in the city. Perfect. Anybody got a water? Hello. Uh, the the judge just landed. Perfect. 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 Uh, did you want the judge to come over here? Um, he can come over here. Let me grab him. Okay, there's a there's a room. Uh, back there that we could use too. No, we still hear people's voices over there. Ooh. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we was all good to proceed. I didn't know if we, I didn't know if we was re re recessing until tomorrow. Uh, oh, no, I'm good to go still if we uh, all still to go. Everybody yeah, good cool. to go? Yeah. Yeah, good to go. Okay, man, let's do it. All right. Uh, ladies, by the way, y'all got the John Cena face. <laughs> um, mm. Really? Prosecutor and Ripley. Yes, sir. I think y'all doing it. Um, y'all, y'all, y'all. Hey, ain't nobody getting oh, it. You ain't never been I'm not going to argue. Bro. Come here, come here, quick. What the hell? What's up? I want you to know, no matter what you guys are thinking, I am a good person. I wish both of you the best. I'm not the person that y'all think I am. Really? That's, that's all. All right, Mr. Grizzly. Listen, man. Whatever the decision is here, I hope you're reformed either way. I don't believe well, you to be a bad too. person. I got proof too. I want to take you to court. Oh, oh. my I chief said no, bro. Y'all niggas. Talking? Yeah, and that's how you get a bunch of bitches to listen. All right. Uh, <laughs> he said bitches. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I was about to say some bullshit, but they would have clipped it and, and showed the judge. And I gotta win this case before I start talking my shit. We're about to resume, guys. All right. If you want to stay in the court, then uh, go ahead and be quiet. If you don't, you can talk and we can remove you. That's fine, too. Undefeated, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. We are back in session. Uh, I believe last we left off, Mr. Grizzly was on the stand. Yes, sir. Mr. Freeman, um, I'll ask my questions. I'll, I'll re-ask my questions uh, after Mr. Freeman. So, Mr. Grizzly. Yes, sir. When it came to you taking the gun to, you know, Chief Ripley, how did you get a hold of this gun if it was stolen, quote unquote? Objection, right quick, Your Honor. I do want to reinform my client that he has the uh, option to plead the fifth. Okay. Noted. <clears throat> Mr. Grizzly, your answer? Um, what does it matter how I got the gun? An officer was killed. The killer is still out there because I did not do it. So... I feel like condolences are in order. Um, I want to speak, just send my sincerest condolences to the LSPD that's in here uh, for the loss of your officer. I hate that uh, I'm being put in a bad light because I received a weapon. Um, I will not disclose on who I got that weapon from because I don't want to get them in any trouble. You know, but yes, I, I did have that weapon. I received that weapon from somebody and I gave that weapon to Chief Ripley. Mm -hmm. And have you know to know anybody by the name of Shakedown? Do you... Um, come again. What's the name? Shakedown. Sir. Shakedown. Yes, sir. Mm. 
Um, man, I mean, so many people. Let me think. Hold on. It's not coming to me right now. So, mm -hmm. well, now I'm gonna say no. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, Yarn. That's all the questions I have to ask, Mr. Grizzly, sir. Okay. <clears throat> all right. I just have a. I, I just have a couple questions, not many. Okay. All right. So, Never like seen. I said before, um, Mr. Grizzly, mm -hmm. have you ever been fearful of your life because of the police? Yes, sir. All right. Now, with that fear, would you say that it has caused you to do irrational things? Um, like run for my life? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you ran from your life out of fear that the police were going to physically harm you. Have you ever been involved with any type of assault or overuse of force with the PD? Yes, sir. And like I said, my arm still hurt from my shoulder okay. all the way down to my elbow. Okay. All right. Now, are, I'm not asking you to identify the officers, but if you were able to, could you identify the officers that assaulted you in this courtroom today? I would never do that because of what they would do to my family. Um, mm -hmm. PD is a is a big gang, you know what I mean. And, oh, um, okay. Can I object? Your What's your objection? Well, you say you know you're in fear for your life. You read PD is a big gang, but I have another question for you, sir. This um, you already I closed. Have... You already closed out your question, sir. The, the, I'm trying to hear your objection. On a, uh, yeah. Question. What's your objection, Mr. Freeman? What's your objection? Objection. The objection was, you know, and evident that, you know, you've done things in fear for your life, but and evidence that we have a statement. What's the objection? What's the objection? Yeah, right. Yeah, like, what's your objection? Your, That's a question. To ask question. That's a statement, not an objection. An objection is. Just we, we understand. Okay. Mr. Freeman, do you have an no. objection? Never mind, sir. Yeah. Okay. Speculation. All over the fucking place. Sit down. Okay. Oh, his objection is speculation then. Okay. As I was saying, PD is a big gang and they're, they're monsters. You know, and um, I get scared when I see them. And I won't reveal who's the big gang leader. They're in here. But I'm, I'm scared right now. You're scared right now. Sir, let me ask you one last question. All right, before I take a seat. Would you say that you are in fear for your life right now with this officer standing beside you? With the cowboy hat on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, that is all, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, very Mr. Thank you, Mr. T. You are very brave, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, Mr. You may step down. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I did not mean to bump into you, sir. Please don't hurt me. I would not, sir. I would not. <laughs> I think that's the first guy that's actually been afraid of you, Mr. Bailey. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I, I promise you it won't be the last, sir. <laughs> uh, Mr. Freeman, your yes, next piece of evidence or witness? Yes, sir. Is uh, Mr. Shakedown in here? Mr. Who? Shakedown. Yeah, I believe he said Shakedown. Uh, I believe he if, just flew into the city. If there's a Mr. Shakedown, could you please come to the stand? <laughs> they about to put that nigga Shakedown on the stand. Shakedown probably ain't gonna say he is this bitch. That ain't, that ain't my name, bro. I don't <laughs> know what they talking about. Will the real Shakedown please stand up? <laughs> right. If you if your if your alias is Shakedown. Could you could you come to the stand? God damn, bro. Oh, uh, bro, what's <laughs> sounding like you worried about like, something, bro, nigga? It's not hard. Why you sounding like? Just on my head, Bob. Oh, okay, okay, but why you sounding like you worried about something, bro? Hey, the police, where am I? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so I'll be God. Yes, sir. Make it. So, Mister Shake. Allegedly, that's your name, Mike. Excuse me? <laughs> Allegedly, your name is Mr. Shakedown, right? 
I guess uh, so, people sorry. ain't. Sorry, sorry. Let me let me let me let me say. He's he's asking you if your alias is shakedown, not alleged. Yes, it is. There you go. Okay, people so, say people call me a lot of things. That we, have, we have. Let me how ask this. Let me rephrase it, sir. So, when you were talking to someone about you know in this evidence about someone asking you to sell you sell you a particular gun, did you or did you not state? And I quote, no, this is not my gun. I'm just holding it for tea. Mm, no, sir. Oh. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Adam, would you go like to look at the evidence? Where is this evidence? Uh, Mr. Grizzly, if you would like to present that uh, in your eyes, Mr. Shakedown can see it there. Um, Which video is it? It's a... Uh, let me see. Or what's the title of it? This is crazy. It's almost all the way down. There's a bunch of text with time codes. It's the video directly underneath that, I believe. Okay. All right, wait right was, here, little homie. I was probably as high as I was going to get anyway. That's funny. I hate Oakland and the dog. Oh, how much you got? Yeah. <laughs> Nep, nep, you on it. I don't know who the fuck that cop is. Ooh, nigga, smoke this nigga. Black and I love it. He did. Oh, he did. God, I'm so stupid. Why the fuck do I do this to myself? Man, your mouth is taped. Come on, we out. Oh, hands up. Put your hands up. You have to do it again. Where? Star, where's Star? I'm in the car. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, okay, here you go, right here. Okay. Yo, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Hello, yeah, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I had to do peace, thank God. How much you want for this? It's not mine, it's TZ. You told me to hold it. Oh, damn. Yeah. What, what's your name? Shake now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I give you all the first. First go round to be on me. First go round to be on me. You know what I'm saying? And what the <laughs> between Chopper, MDF, and GG. Copy. Oh, shit. And are you asking me a question? Why did you say that you didn't say this? That you didn't know what he was talking about? I plead the fifth. Not a Bailiffs. Arrest this man for uh, perjury. Oh, shit. <laughs> come with me, sir. Oh, man, you didn't have to go like that. Dude, you didn't have to do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> this little baby, dude. Oh. Okay, blow my dick. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Mr. Freeman, your next piece of uh, evidence. Oh, I have something yes. to say. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, I have something please. to say. My bad. Oh, I, okay, but let me, let me say this. I have something to say after every piece yes. of evidence. Okay, so regarding this piece of evidence, yes. sir, like I said before, mm -hmm. nobody says T Grizzly, all right? Nobody. I do not hear that once, and we do not even see my client associating with these people. We do not see my client in any of these videos. And we can't even prove that my client is in any of these videos. So with that being said, with that being said, any time that we look at a piece of evidence and it, they all they say or all they type, like whatever the case may be, is T. Like I said, that could be a numerous honor. amount of things, and I do not believe that could that, that should with um that should be uh, held in the court of law. Hey, Freeman. Like I said, w w w let me let me let me reiterate like this: When you yeah. write your name down on a piece of paper or sign a check, you have to write your full name. I object. You, you can objection. Play the clip a little longer. <clears throat> if you play, the, if you run the clip back a little long, there's later on he proceeds. Mr. T called up a meeting. Um, is that, that is that is that is that where we're in court for today? 
Or did you right. or, or that clip that the purpose of that clip was uh hold on one relevance. second, one second. Um your honor, that the purpose of that yeah. clip was to identify or not identify or prove what and what did not shake down said. What well, he did, did or didn't say. This clip is nothing not about what happened down the line. Is it irrelevant to the case? Uh where is the bell? Oh, um. He Not sure. probably stood, uh, took him all the way to the jail cell. I can stand in for him. Yes, please, uh, Lieutenant Howe. Um, Mr. Freeman, what is the uh, relevance in what you're saying? What are you trying to say? What was your objection? The objection was that stated in this video, Mr. Shakedown says he's holding this for tea. And at the same time, if you go back and look at the evidence, they were all at the same spot meeting as they, you know, call for a meeting. Okay. With now, that. do do they so, say? So, I'm at, let me ask you this: Do they say T Grizzly? No, so but he did. My, confirm no, the oh, there we go. There we go. He wait, said wait, wait, no. Wait. Order in the court. In Order in the court. My understanding, Mr. Freeman, what you're trying to say is, he's saying that he's holding this for T, and there is a. T at this meeting, and that T will be T Grizzly that's in the courtroom today. Is that what yes, you're trying sir, to say? Yeah. Okay, understood. Yeah. And you said this is in the evidence? Yes, sir. Do you have a timestamp for us? <clears throat> uh, let me go back and check. Um, your, your Honor, quick question? Yes. This person who is allegedly holding something for a T, in this clip, is he giving it back to T to prove that he was holding this? For that person? Or did he even get it from T in the clip? Yeah, like, no. who, because, who, Judge, if, if somebody asks me for something and I don't want to give it to him, I can say I'm holding it for you, Judge. Right. Does this that automatically make you guilty? No, it, that, that definitely wouldn't automatically make you uh, guilty. No. All right. Thank you very much. All the evidence that we've looked at so far is here. <laughs> he say she he, hearsay. I haven't seen my client in not one piece of evidence that I'm can tie lie. him to any of this. Thank you. They fight in the night, boy. Mr. Freeman. Well, yeah. Storm, <laughs> Ripley, and the prosecutor. They got some shit tonight. Three ten, three fifteen. Eric. I just hope the judge. Answer. I just hope the judge. It's it. Hear us out. Mr. Grizzly have conducting a meeting. And in that meeting, there are you know a few others from other gang. What relevance? So, yeah, our objection is relevance. So, what well, what are we looking at? What do we even? I believe this is just him saying that. The T that was in question is the T that's actually there, which is T Grissy, who was in court. Okay. Um. Do we have any type of proof? That is uh, my that just in, That's just in the court right there. Um, Let me watch this shit. See what it said, man. First, go around and be on me. First, go around and be on me. You know what I'm saying? And... Between Chopper, MBF, and GG. I'll be. Oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, damn, son. Son. <laughs> hey Snow, so look. Yo. First go around, it's on me. Right, how, much we, how much we talking, though? You know what I'm saying? You know, I got a, a gang to feed, you feel me? Man, listen, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with it, bro. <laughs> Come here. Come on, let me. Come on. You can hear me now? Woot, woot. How much? First go around and be on me. Oh, they ain't your shit. I wanted to. But this just to establish. You know what I'm saying? I think you want best to watch. Oh, so, so. Oh, man, they ain't got Go shit, in. man. They ain't got jack shit. Chain off. Who knows, right? Just because my client has some hair, a chain, and some shirts. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, does wait. Does not mean that he's a, oh, whatever you guys are trying to pin on him, a murderer. I'm, I'm not trying to pin nothing on them. No, no, sir. I'm speaking in general. I'm speaking in your general. Honor, sorry. Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor. Yes. What, 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 what do that video say to you, Your Honor? 
That it was a whole bunch it's, of people um, in one spot? Yes, and a man claiming to hold a gun for AT, and then we see you, or what I believe to be you, uh, at this uh, meeting of individuals. Now, Your Honor, if yes. I may, is there proof or verification that that is in fact my client? That's not the argument. Let's not go with that, that video. Because this proof is me. Don't go with that argument, bro. I just, I just want to know: is there, is there solid evidence that proves? I'd rather that him that say my client. I don't know shakedown. I'd rather him say that because it's proof I was there, but it's not proof that I know shakedown. Mr. Freeman. Because all I've heard so far is T, and I, I've heard a lot about Mr. T, but I, I don't know a, a whole lot about T Grizzly right now. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the court of law, you're supposed to provide facts, proof, evidence, and real knowledge about what you're doing. Right? And also, also, Your Honor, to rebuttal yes. with my lawyer, um, say say that that was me there, hypothetically speaking, of course. Allegedly. It only showed that I was hypothetically there. It don't show that I had no asso no association to this man that had this weapon. I'm not seen um, fraternizing with him. I'm not seen walking off to the side with him or nothing. It showed a whole bunch of people in one spot. But that also being said, Your Honor, a whole bunch of people in one spot. Do you not believe that it could be? That since my client is such a community man, since he is such a public person, a public figure, a symbol to his community, do you not believe that it is possible that someone wants to dress and look like him while not being him? That definitely could be possible. All right. Now, do you, now, like I said again, I would like Mr. Freeman to prove that is in fact my client in the video because i have heard nothing about t grizzly that is my client's name t grizzly all we've heard about is t i don't know if it's t-e-a t t-e-e t you know what i'm saying like I, I don't know this is about to be the hardest case i ever fought hardest case i ever fought but i'm gonna win did your defendant not also establish that people know him by i'm gonna win because it's not what you know it's about what you can prove in court the fight he did not specify which people or whom he also did not specify specify how it is spelt all right so mr he, so mr august let me ask you this as well yes sir when he was when mr grizzly was on the witness stand and i asked him did he not say he knew a lot of people yeah he's a community man sir he owns multiple businesses all right of course he knows a lot of people of course, a lot of people know him. Look who showed up in attendance today in the courtroom alone just to stand by Mr. Grizzly. All right. Look how many people go outside and take a look at how many people are behind those open doors now closed because we filled this courtroom with supporters of Mr. Grizzly, a community man. He knows okay. clearly a lot of people. I've heard enough on this subject. Uh, Mr. Freeman, do you have a witness or yes, any sir. other evidence to call? Okay. I do have a witness. I would like to call undercover agent. <laughs> Mitch, take stand, please. Okay. Can uh, undercover agent Mitch please take the stand? Bailiff Swearer, man. They got a real snitch. He swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So, if you got I do. Maybe see it. What's that, bro? After the, smoke. this testimony, before you begin, gang, know to follow him when he leave here for tomorrow. Until okay. tomorrow, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Thank you very much. It's four in the morning. So, Mr. Mitt. Yes, sir. When you were you not in that Tesla, Mr. Grizzly said. Yes, sir. A black Tesla. So. You was in the back test, right? So when you guys went out and kidnapped Officer Sui and you took her to a discreet location, who's the man that took her comms away 
and then fired the shots, proceeded at Mrs. I mean, where Officer sued. Um, there was this gentleman there on the stand, Mr. T. So within that shot, did we have any like forensics that he confirmed that he shot that, or you confirmed that he shot the shot with your own eye? I can confirm that after riding around with him, I know that it is him under the mask. I was with him when he got dressed. Uh, I can also confirm that officers did show up to that location to recover uh, bullet casings. Mm. So, in that car ride, could you explain to me what was going on? Could you explain to me like what happened? What led up to that car ride? Well, it, it was originally just quote unquote spinning on the ops. Um, and then there happened to be an officer. She responded solo. Um, the intent was to kidnap her at the time, um, but we knew that that'd be too much of a liability. Um, and then the order was given to pretty much execute her by this gentleman there. And who's the gentleman, sir? Mr. T. And he decided, actually, he was the one who pulled the trigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for sake of argument, our defense has been saying that we don't know who a uh, T is. Can you state the full name, please? Oh, T. Grizzly. Objection, Your Honor. Do we have any evidence? Yes. A uh, this is not, was there. It was oh, also that's, that's the one we clip. just. Okay. It's, uh, I believe, what is the timestamp for that? If you go back in that. Like it smoked this nigga. Black and I love it. Oh, my God. It's taped. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Hands up. You can't rob cops. It's like actually like. Oh, we're uh, looking at a little piece of evidence. My bad. They're okay. they're talking. I have a couple questions for the witness after um he's done. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Freeman, in the interest of time, will you hold yes. your uh remaining questions, and I'll let, let Mr. Grizzly have a moment with the the witness, please. Go ahead. Uh, what's your name, sir? Or anonymous name? Or you probably don't want your name known. Okay, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So you said I gave an order to kill the officer that was riding the car with you and um, those other gentlemen? Oh, with us, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, in the clip, I didn't hear an order given to kill that person. What I heard was, put your hands up. She said something, and then she just got shot. Never heard an order. So that's one lie on the stand. Secondly, um, do you have proof that you were with this person before he put his mask on? And do you have proof that um, the ballistics was taken at the scene? Uh, there should be logged in PD evidence uh, about the ballistics part. Um, as far as my body cam went out during the time that we were getting dressed. Not a, not, not, mm. a, not, a, not, a, not a OOC log, sir, but evidence. No, that's mm. a, in, in the actual log. Uh, so sir, no not, evidence. Not, not, sir, not a OOC log. Evidence no, from the no. court. No. At this time, no, I don't have it. Okay, also, do you have evidence of that person before he put the mask on, as you said? Uh, let me go scrub back through the evidence submitted. It should be enough. Mr. I Grizzly, do, uh, Your Honor, uh, um, Mr. August, I don't mean to cut y'all off while y'all on your roll, but uh, it is a tsunami flying in, so we'll have to continue this tomorrow. Okay, Your Honor, Your Honor, I want to put it on record that this person lied and said an order was given when no order was given, as we all seen in the clip. So, mm -hmm. um, yes, I, I would like to um, dismiss this yeah, uh, yeah, this dis evidence. Dis dismiss this witness. He's not and credible. this witness for yeah, he, contempt he, he, of court. I would like to have him charged as well. Yeah, he, he's not credible. All right, understood. Court is adjourned until tomorrow. Thank you very much. Uh, what time tomorrow, sir? Same time, uh, yes. Uh, the 10 p.m. restart. Uh, okay. Flying, so. Hey, uh, hey, low key. I don't have a first class flight, so I might be there. It won't 30 be right at the restart. It'll be uh, an hour after, at least. Okay, but I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right there. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. No, the order no, was given at hey, second everybody time who step. came out to support, I appreciate Merry all y'all. Feel me? Man, fuck you. you. Happy yeah, holidays, man. Merry Christmas Eve. Happy holidays. Yeah. Your Honor, enjoy your holiday. Yeah, enjoy, your holiday. enjoy your holiday. You too. You too. Okay, snitch. Don't let me catch you outside, yes, snitch. Sir. Everybody stay safe through the holidays, man. Yeah, everybody have fun, outside, man. Snitch ass nigga. <laughs> w stream chat. W fucking stream chat. <laughs> yeah. Don't play with me, man. Don't play with me, man.
W fucking stream chat, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all, gang. On everything, man. Thank you all for pulling up on me, brody. Appreciate y'all, chat. Man, today was a WS stream. Today was some WS RP. Give me shout out to the judge. Shout out to my lawyer. Shout out to Chief Ripley. Shout out to Storm. Shout out to the prosecutor. Shout out to the whole Grizzly gang. Shout out to EST. I already know I've seen them boys pull up the court. Feel me? It was just a W, man. W S W, man. Have fun doing it, bro. Shit was a dub, bro. I want to wish everybody a happy holiday, man. Feel me? I want to wish everybody a happy holiday, gang. Shout out to the whole Grizzly World community, bro. Shout out to the whole fucking Grizzly World community. Thank you all, man. Thank you all for supporting me, gang. Like I say, time is the most precious thing we got we're going to ever have on this earth. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you can get your time back and y'all came and spent your time with me. A month pass, I've been trying to call my bitch. She ain't picking up. I sent some niggas to her crib. It's crazy. I left all my money with that bitch. Lawyers got.